Yeah, having a release from footy is super important for me. It's probably something that I didn't have when I first came in. I was super footy orientated and it can get pretty full on the, the football world when it's your job. So the longer I've been in the system, going into my fifth year now, I've sort of built more and more of a off-field strategy to, to have out, I suppose, outlets and releases and art's probably my main one of, of those. So. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm loving, loving doing my art and I feel like it's really complementing my footy well too. I can really lock in when I'm at the club and get the best out of myself when I'm there and then I can come home and decompress and completely change pace and find a new challenge. I like to keep busy, so this is sort of my, the way I'm finding the best way to do it at the moment. I used to always fiddle around in class and whatnot. My ADHD, I'd like to draw on textbooks and scribble all over stuff when I was supposed to be listening probably most of the time. But yeah, no, I've, I've always done art. I was, I was actually ducks of art in year nine at school and then I sort of stopped for a little while. I just um, went more academic pathway at school, um, looking for a, a higher ATAR, um, which I don't need anymore, which is nice. It wasn't till I got back from the hub and I just started fiddling around again and um, sort of remembered how much I loved art. and got back into it over the last two or so years. I used to do a lot of surfboard art, um, but it's a pretty big canvas and I find it, it's kind of hard to hang on people's walls and stuff, or particularly my walls. So yeah, I've been doing a bit of stuff on skateboards as you can see. So I'm locked in right now on this Tom Brady piece. He's out in Australia this week. So it looks like there's gonna be a pretty cool opportunity for me to come hang out with him. Hopefully uh, get to have a good chat with him and, and he's gonna sign this one down here. So. Got to get this one done, it's got a bit of work to do still. Got to get his legs done and um, neaten up some stuff in the background, but really excited to see this up on the wall signed, hopefully, so that'll be a pretty cool moment. And then, yeah, I got some other pieces floating around. I got Alan Iverson doing the step over, Derek Rose piece up there, a Kobe piece, and then a few little abstract ones as well. So I got skateboards hanging around everywhere inside, but I love the aesthetic for that, I think it's really cool. I still don't know what style I really like or um, what my preferred, um, thing to do is with my art, so I'm working through that at the moment. Um, but yeah, having fun with it. I like to get up reasonably early. Um, I had to today because I'm I've been put on the rookie slot for physio, nice and early. So. Um, yeah, I'll get up nice and early, have a, have a cold shower, wake myself up straight away, and then um, I'll try to get into some breath work just for a few minutes, sort of um, set the tone of the day, set the intentions, um, and then from there I'll, I'll um, try and have some brekkie and, and then grab a coffee. Um, today I'll have brekkie at the club because it's a bit earlier to start. Um, but then, yeah, we'll be into the day from there pretty much. Living with Artie Jones still, um, we did all last season together, which was really enjoyable, and managed to play some games together, which was pretty fun. Um, and then we got big Lockie Smith come and join us, um, first year player, and he's from a similar area to me, so out southeast suburbs, a Gippie boy. Um, so yeah, been enjoying having him come and join us, and um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good start for all three of us. I think so far, we're all all on the park, and we'll all be running around today. Today's pretty much our, our first day back at the club. Um, today's the um, 2K time trial, so I'll probably get more nervous for today than, than games, which is pretty weird. That um, You can get more comfortable in front of a crowd and stuff like that, and, and I know a lot of players feel like that. The 2K gets a lot of players pretty nervous, so um, I'm already a little bit jittery. Um, I, um, I come second to Dommy, so today it's on. Got to beat him. <laughs> Oh, here he is, the enemy. <laughs> Don't you dare run in them. No, that's... They're cheating. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's up. It's the only way I run any. They're illegal runners. Don't put that in. Put that in. Don Bedendo, cut 10 seconds. <laughs> You're a fraud. This actually couldn't be a better morning for a two car. No excuse now for a PB. Daryl. 
Yeah. Morning. It's like yesterday, the golf course today, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get a lot of feedback around here. Uh, welcome to the feedback channel. First in. Um, oh, that's probably going to have to get blanked out. <laughs> that's um, Charlie Clark. <laughs> he drew that, not me. Um, we've got our Builder Pro here. Most players have that in their locker. Um, basically, just your goals this year, the areas that you're good at, the areas you want to improve at, a um, bit of a target area. Um, this is me and Mitchie Wallace in my debut game. Um, one of my favourite photos, just like um, comes back to playing with mates and enjoying the, the good times along the way. Um, this is me as a kid. Um, so yeah, just we talk about being your kid, being yourself when you're younger, and, and then this is my family. So got them in here. <laughs> Keep that on. <laughs> Dommy, that was a nervous fart. You sound nervous. <laughs> what are these? Oh, mouth guards. Should we just put them all out? Yeah, probably. Be decent blokes. Yeah. Seems the camera's on. Yeah, we always do this. <laughs> As if you're running in them run as your dog. Do, do you run in them the first time? No. So I technically won. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a f***ing carbon plate in his foot. All right, we're on, physio. Let's go do it. So, ankles will be our agenda today. I've got to always get my ankles strapped for every training. Um, got a little bit of history with them, so make sure they're all good from now on. And then just a little check up, check in with the physios, make sure everything's on top. Here he is, waiting. Let's go. Chrissy Bell. Let's do it. Geez, I'm glad he asked you yesterday what obligated means. That had me f***ed. Who's this? <laughs> Middle of the meeting. He always calls on Dommy. Just calls him out. Yeah. Like he's like, he's like <laughs> three rows deep on the forward flank and he's picked him out. He looks up to the sky and he's like, no. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. What time they clock off for you? Yeah, no one being sharp. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you say you're going to buy, mate? Uh, my dad's car. You're gonna buy his car off him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did already. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's been mean to sell for a while. We got a new car like last year, so he's heavily driving. So what you got? Did you drive it over? Or no, nah, it's on the train right now. Oh, right. What sort of car is it? Uh, 2013 Holden Commodore. Holden. Oh, yeah. Commie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made money. You made money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to on the train. I don't think it's. 14 years old. Huh? It wouldn't drive over it. <laughs> um, bit of brekkie now, I reckon. Well, we need to settle a debate. I think peanut butter and butter are a combo, but a lot of people here think you don't need butter with it. I, uh, I won't eat much. Probably just have two pieces of toast today because, I don't know, I don't want to have much in me when I'm running a 2 k -er. Here comes the sun. Gonna be cooking. <laughs> Give it a wave. Every morning, you're still asleep. I'm training when you're sleeping. I'm already getting like nervy, eh? Get a kick. Not wrong. See if Anna's doing touch. Yeah, got Ryan Crowley with me. <laughs> how you doing, bro? Good, mate. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's going to be that odd near the Sarvo. Yep. I don't know what the, the strategy is. <laughs> Whether I lead it again or... There's no win, so I don't think it's a disadvantage. You just show your hand in terms of pacing.
I might do some like smaller little lobby ones. I'll just get some time in, a little jump. Chook! Chook! I got the bloke following me around the camera and he goes, comes to me locker and he goes, oh. He's like, good getting, he goes, tell us about your locker, like what do you got, what photos up? And I look at it on the mirror, I get fucked. <laughs> I'm like, that's Charlie Clark. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Sweet, all right, I'll do me. Thanks, mate. Should probably go do some touch, mate. I already did it. Look like a genuine pro now. Quizzer, how are you, brother? Good, thank you. Oh, it's coming along. I'm meeting him next week. No way. Yeah. Really? Like hanging out in his hotel with him. Where? Uh, at Crown. He's got a place there and he's doing like a signing session. Like, oh. where he's got to sign it. Just so I'm like going over when he sign it. So sick. Yeah. Be pretty cool. Just have a chat to him. Get him to sign my board. Oh, I get always get nervous. Yeah. I get more nervous for these than these games. Same. Just <laughs> <laughs> I reckon most people would be like that. Yeah. And it's like not, you feel like a sick feeling. Yeah. yeah. You actually feel sick. You it's gonna get hot too, man. Yeah, I deliberately didn't have much. Because I'll vomit if I do. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, go! How'd you go, Bont? Yeah, nice. Were you right on me? Oh, were you, what were you? Like 30. Oh, I was probably dead. 10, oh, 20 meters behind you. Yep. It's gone 40, that's all I got in the leg. Trip, when you get it, mate, I'll be with you. When you get it, mate, gather, 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 gather. Now, mate, you got ya, got ya, got ya. That's good, mate, that's good. I got it, I got it, I got it. One. Adi, 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 Adi. Hit me, bro, hit me, bro. I'll get there. Five. Oh, film that. Finish. Finish, Doc. LFG. Woo. Yes, young bull. I got there. Let's go, lads. Do our work early and we're done. Let's get the turnover. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Scotty out, Scotty out. Kill it, kill it. There we go. Woo! Gary. <laughs> yeah. He would have missed it, but. Doctor. Two strokes. Hit me with a one, two into a finger. If you forget how to do it. That's it, yeah. No, it's like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Wait, what is it? Boom, boom, boom. Boom. My go. Couple more. High, high quality, here we go. Yeah, hold there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
Bowsy, get in there. Yo. Yep. For a reversal. You rove, I'll, I'll quit the contest. Nice. Lovely book. Great session. Put that in the bank. Compounding monthly. Yeah, down at the tattoo shop down the road. Um, classic Inc, having a bit of fun and I'm going to be doing a little bit of work and it's nice, it's a, a cool environment, different um, different to what I've done before with my art, um, something that I'm looking forward to doing a bit more of, um, obviously you can have like good conversation with the clients and, and with your mates and yeah it's fun to, to try a different style of art I suppose. George just reached out, um, messaged me and he's sort of seen that I've been into my art of late and he just said come down if you want to try something new and it was sort of good timing, I was sort of looking for something and always am really with my art. So yeah, it's just a nice creative release for me, something that's totally different to footy and yeah, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it, just change of pace I guess and um, yeah, looking forward to hitting some skin soon hopefully with the, the tattooing and having a bit of fun with that. So these are like what we say battle royale. Yep, yeah, they're nice. I reckon if that could be something you chip away at, so you can be a little bit uncomfortable drawing something, rather yeah. than like being, you know, exactly into your style. We can sort of stretch it because it's like you're playing footy, bro. You got to be uncomfortable. Yep. Um, and learn to be comfortable in that way. So yeah. flick through it, bro. Yeah, we'll have a gaze. I think tattoo style's like pretty different, eh? <laughs> My drawing stuff. So I'm gonna try and figure out a happy middle. Station yet? Yeah, go. <laughs> I'm, I'm a counter. <laughs> Got to earn my stripes. I kind of like um, do you know, I think her name's Molly Hokey Pokey or something. That her user is. I like her stuff. Probably more traditionally drawn shit like that. Um, but I'm pretty open to whatever. I will try out a fair few. That's even like with my art at the moment. I'm pretty much just trying all different mediums and. I've been doing painting a fair bit the last six months, but um, I've been doing that, yeah. Which, to be honest, I don't enjoy as much. I think people like it, but um, I think like a crossover abstract and realism is probably where I end up. Um, I don't know, I just find it's less like, less imagination when I'm doing realism. Um, I like to be free a bit more and just make shit up. Whatever I wake up thinking about, just put it on the page. So that's a nice bold liner. Yep. This is a round shader, it's set up like basically the same thing. This is nine needles as well, but they're a little bit looser, so then you're not causing so much trauma on the skin. A yep. line is a tighter grouping, so you can get a nice crisp line out of yeah, it. Yep. So, and then there's different yep. shaders. For instance, this is a, a 23, 23 needles, two rows stacked. Yep. Different shading needles, so th that's good for getting these smooth blends. Oh yeah. This round shade is good for like little, little details, like uh, if I want to put this little line in through here. It's just got that little bit more of a harsh edge on it. So yeah. And learning how to get all these different textures, working, leaving negative space where, you know, less is more. You, you do nothing in this area and the, and the rest of the detail behind it makes yeah. it pop. So pop, yeah. Those little things are, like, even on little fine uh, designs like what you're into, I think you can use areas where you know using more texture in the background area, yep. making the foreground pop. Lift it, yeah. You have less work in it essentially, I suppose. Yep. At the moment, I'm just doing art because I love it. Um, I'm not selling anything or really looking to make money out of my art right now. Um, but I am 
more and more curious and I know it's my passion so I'm definitely looking to um, see where I can explore how, how I could make it a, a post footy thing. Um, hopefully there's, yeah, whether it's tattooing or it's just canvas art or merchandise or whatever it is, hopefully there's an industry there where I can infiltrate with my art and, and make a nice living after footy doing that because that's what I, I like doing.